And here we go. Hello, everybody. Um, let's see here. I'm going to get stuff going real quick today because we've got some time constraints. Well, not really time constraints, but here we go. He's already here. Should have an invite. Well, hello, hello. Oh, hi. Can you, can you, can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you great. Awesome. I'm a little overexposed. Oh, well. <laughs> that's, a, that's all right. <laughs> Let me turn up your volume just real quick. Yeah, I can I can speak louder if need be. <laughs> I need to get a mic. Yeah, I do too. So what's up? How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for uh thanks for doing this for us. Um we really appreciate everybody's help with with uh, getting the word about this Indiegogo out. I was gonna say it's uh, it's cracking down to the last four days. Yeah, yeah, it's crunch time. It's it's terrifying, but I'm also gonna be grateful for it to be over because it was also a whole lot of work. I, I believe <laughs> that it um it just broke over twenty thousand earlier this morning. I saw. Yeah, yeah, that's great. It's a good milestone. Mm -hmm. Not, I mean, you know, the uh, the initial goal was. 75,000 for the fixed goal, but. Yeah, but that was, you know. Uh, kind of a. <laughs> more of a wishful thinking, you know, just like, well, we might as well just make it like that because it'd be great if we reached it. Um, Absolutely. But that was, that's not, that's not our end game. It's not what we need to make this movie. Okay. I was, I was just curious because I was like, so whatever you get from like funds wise from the campaign is going towards the, the film's getting made regardless. Well, no, we, it, it wouldn't. Uh, I mean, I hope so. We still need a little bit more funding, but we, from what I understand, we have some um, prospects coming in, some larger investors. So it seems like, it seems like it's absolutely going to happen at this point, but you know, I'm just. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Got some great pro uh, producers on board with uh, Felissa Rose as one and uh, was Ryan James as another. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like Ryan is amazing. He's just he's just really organized and has a lot of really good ideas and he's really good at social media. Yeah, everything. He definitely seems like it. I follow him a lot. <laughs> yeah, he's great. He really knows how to put it out there. And uh, and Felissa is, you know, just like incredible in every way. <laughs> and uh we also have damien mcfay as a producer on here as well he's a really oh. talented dude yeah he's my lead actor as well i'm really excited to be working guys, with him you guys have like a group of people that it seems like you're doing quite a few films together actually yeah this is our third um and uh, we've tried to work together many 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 times but we thought we were cursed <laughs> and um, because I'm like serious, it was like me and Damien have tried to make like at least 15 films together that have failed. And we were just like, oh, OK, we're cursed. We should just stop trying. And and then uh, on location, which is now Terror Trips, Terror has Trip. just been just been bought. Yeah. And distribution. And um, and we finished our second feature. and We're, we're going into our third. So. Curse there. is broken. Yay. Uh. Mm -hmm. What was there? There was Times Up as well. Yeah, Times Up. We shot that uh, in December and January up in Portland, Maine, and uh, in the snow. And it was it was just so much fun. And we we just made so many friends. We we brought some people from that shoot on on with us to the Peeping Tom movie as well. We got Kamara Cole and uh, Topher Hansen, and um, we're bringing back a lot of the crew as well. And um, we just worked together so well. We were just like, well, if it isn't broke, don't fix it. Right? <laughs> don't fix it. Just bring back the people you know are going to work hard and do an amazing job. And um, and there was a few people that we couldn't bring back just because of uh, the script. Uh, um, you know, there wasn't a role, or uh, we already had um, some crew in place, so we couldn't bring back. But. Um, that we would have liked to because everybody on Time's Up was absolutely lovely and wonderful to work with and talented as hell. I'm excited to see that one. It's that definitely an interesting concept with the whole New Year's, a New Year's killer. 
That's such a good idea. It's such a good idea for a slasher. You know, you have this very finite amount of time, you know, and you just pack the story into this this finite amount of time and it and it's just like this kind of who done it slasher um got you know you got your your teenagers in there but you also have your faculty you got it, it kind of reminded me of scream when i first read it and that's one of my favorite horror movies oh absolutely yeah, yeah that, that sounds that sounds good you know it sounds like they were gods to me because it has a great cast i mean obviously with you and then uh damien maffey he plays is he the is, he's not the is he the principal or is he a teacher? He's the coach. I oh, was a coach. I was like I forgot. <laughs> I, I knew he was a faculty member. I couldn't remember who he, who exactly he was. Yeah, he and plays then, a big douchey coach. <laughs> what movie does he play in where he doesn't play somebody who's a douche though? <laughs> I know. Right? Like in, I don't know if you've seen him in a nun's curse with Felissa Rose, but. I... I have not seen that yet. Nunsploitation frightens me. <laughs> such a douche. I mean, even in, I mean, even in The Stranger's Prey at Night, obviously, I mean, he doesn't have spoken roles because he plays a man in the mask, but obviously, you know, anybody coming at you with an axe is a douche. <laughs> it's a, he's a bad man. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, but what? With because I've, I've watched the uh, the teaser a couple times now for Peeping Tom. It's like he plays such like. He plays like an innocent role almost, but then it's like you can tell there's still something off about him. <laughs> <laughs> he's nuanced. It's he, true. He's, he's got, a, yeah, he could go either way. I feel like he's like the Judas. You yeah. know, you, you, you're not sure. You know, is he a good guy? Is he a bad guy? I mean, sometimes it's obvious, like you said, when he's coming at you with, with an axe. Um, but yeah, he, he's, he can play. He can play either way. And I think that that's, you know, what, really great actors have is that that kind of range and flexibility yeah. you know he's he's very, he's very charming <laughs> yeah i've seen he's got charisma this is true um and uh yeah he's I, I saw him playing a dad we just shot this movie oh my gosh no i take it back this is going to be our fourth movie movie together we just yeah we just shot they watch up in up in pennsylvania and um I saw him playing a daddy, and, he, and I'm like, what? Oh, that, that works. It was really, really good. It was really touching to, yeah. to watch that. I think he, he played a dad in um, uh, Once Upon a, or, yeah, Once Upon a Doomsday. Speaking or, of which. I, I'm getting called. <laughs> <laughs> I'm busy. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> I'm in a I'm in a door I'm in a room with a locked door. So. <laughs> well, I'm in a I'm in a flooded basement. Oh, it great! Is, yeah, it just flooded just before we we got on this live stream. This huge epic thunderstorm going on outside, and it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that in Connecticut? <laughs> no, it's in Georgia. Yeah, so. yeah, because they have that. They have the hurricane going through there right now. I oh think. man, torrential! It's crazy. That's yeah. So I'm, I'm so so soaking wet, huh? I'm supposed to be going to Florida in a week, so hopefully that's gone by then. Oh yeah, that would suck to drive in it, uh, for sure. Be, we actually, I want to say, we were leaving because we were down there for vacation one time before, like right before a hurricane hit. And we like left as soon as it was like coming in, basically. So we like saw it coming in. And we're like, it, it, we're leaving today. <laughs> yep, yep. It seems like every time I go to Florida, there there's some kind of epic storm. Yeah, usually I end up driving in it. <laughs> <laughs> Stay away from Florida. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, let's talk about this. Let's talk about Peeping Tom a little bit because it's it's definitely an interesting definitely an interesting film like i was reading the synopsis of it and then of course like i said i was watching the uh the teaser for it which is kind of cool because you guys were saying how it's actually not a scene from the script it's actually just something you guys kind of you know worked out just to, like give give us an idea of <clears throat> what to expect yes it's uh it's just something we fabricated to just create the feel for the feature but not give anything away that we didn't want to give away. And um, 
so basically it was just like showing the chemistry between the two, you know, the lead and, and the love interest. And, um, but even that's slightly different. Like the character. Uh-oh. Couldn't pack everything into it. But, um, yeah, we shot that uh, in Georgia with my buddies, uh, Robert Bardos and, um, and Christian Meyer. And uh, we just, you know, we built the set there at his house and shot it and um, had a whole bunch of people come out. And it was really great. Just pulling favors left and right. You know, um, it was great. Everybody, everybody showed up for a night shoot with like no pay, and um, yeah, they really rallied for me. So that was nice. It was, it was a it was definitely a great setup. It was a nice, you know, location. It seemed like, and you could definitely tell there's um, what's to come. There's definitely good uh, chemistry between the two. Um, yeah, like world <clears throat> character and uh, Martin. For sure. Yeah, there is. They have wonderful chemistry yeah yeah they're great to watch i'm definitely interested to see how this whole because the concept of the story is martin is a you know he's a he's a peeping tom mm -hmm. he's got trouble for from being a peeping tom and he's at the point now where he's gone through like it said like he was you know going through therapy and then in the process he meets rowan who he you know falls for but still has these urges and then in the process finds out that she's mixed up and he thinks that she's in with the occult or something which is a pretty interesting yeah it's a pretty interesting concept it's like to think that the whole time maybe that he's watching he's being watched himself not necessarily by her but uh but yes he's definitely there's something more sinister watching him um but uh, we're gonna we're gonna leave that ambiguous because um, I don't want to give that away. So yeah. I guess it's we yeah don't too much away. Just just a little bit of a little crumb. <laughs> yeah, th th there's lots of that. There's lots of like little weird like you think you think one thing and then it's like, whoosh, and and it's and it's just great. It just keeps you on your toes. And um, it's it's probably one of the best. It is one of the best scripts I've ever read. Maybe the best script I've ever read. Just because, just because it, it's. I mean, it's just just so well thought out. All of it, and just there's just so many interesting characters. And I come from an acting background, so I'm that's my favorite thing. You know, <laughs> the characters, and um, a colorful mm -hmm. bunch. <laughs> say, say that again. Said so you've you've played a colorful few for that I know of. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I I do. But, <laughs> I I I play a lot of bad guys. Yeah. No, I, I never did get around to watching Siren, but I am. I think I'm. I am gonna just. I think I'm just because I didn't. I didn't realize until the other day that there was a spinoff of VHS. Yeah. So is it like is it like a prequel or is it more of a like a follow up to VHS in a way or just kind of her background? It's a, it's a pre well, it's no, it's not a prequel. Yeah, it's more of a background. It's, it's, um, yeah, where she comes from, and uh, but not entirely. They could explore that still a little bit more. Um, but yeah, check it out. It's a really good movie. It's got, um, it's got some really talented actors in it. Uh, Justin Wellborn and Chase Williamson and Hayes McCure and um, uh, Mike Milligan. Can't leave him out. <laughs> yeah. And uh yeah, that was uh it's it's a it's not as scary as VHS in my opinion, but it's more fun to watch. Okay. That's yeah. um, I mean it's, it's still gonna be worth a watch anyway, I think. <laughs> Mostly because I I was just trying to get a I, I don't get a whole lot of time to watch uh movies these days, it seems like, so I really have to like if I'm not watching something I've I've seen a billion times, I have like sometimes I'll pop in something I haven't seen. Like I'm terrible about watching new things. Like people will always ask me, "Have you watched this yet?" And it's like I, I I might not watch it until like next year or something. I don't know. There's there's a lot of things to see, a lot of new content. Yeah. Sure. Um, I just got around to watching The Lighthouse um, for the first time at the like right at the beginning of lockdown. And um, what'd you holy, think? Oh, I loved it. It was it, so good. It was, yeah. 
strange for sure. It was uh-huh. so enjoyable though, just to like. Like they couldn't have picked a better duo, actually. Like honestly, William Defoe, of course. I mean, he's he's great in everything he's in. But then <clears throat> Pattinson really surprised the crap out of me. Why? Because he's pretty. That and he he did a an, he did really well, like really good job at just like murdering a seagull. <laughs> oh, he's amazing. Uh, yeah, it was so good. I don't know why I brought that up. I was just thinking. About- Yeah, let's go. So mention that again, because they just added a whole bunch of new perks. So if anybody was thinking or like on the fence um, or wanted to, you know, see if there was more welcome rolls or things like that, there are. So go check that out and you can buy, you can buy goodies or you can buy, you can participate within the movie. You could do a PA and we got, I think we have internships still up there. We have um, like extra roles and, you know, you can, I don't know if they've all been bought, but like you could do a scene with Damien and um, stuff like that. So definitely. A, uh, Terry, I think even. Yeah. A scene with Damien, a scene with, you know, Terry, there's all sorts of other great, I, I was noticing all the other perks as well. You know, obviously the Blu-rays, the DVDs, the shout outs, the thank you and the credits, the, uh, uh, um, the I like you videos. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so flattered that those got bought. I was just like, nobody's gonna want that. <laughs> uh, I was like, really pleasantly surprised. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was really like coming back, coming back off of peeping Tom for a second. I talk about uh, you at uh, Gatlinburg, the uh, mm-hmm. fan fest. That was really cool. Wasn't that fun? Oh my gosh, I had such a lovely time. Um, everybody was just so so welcoming and delightful and uh we got to hang out with all the people from the sandlot movie and but they're all grown up now and they are like the chillest dudes they were so much fun they were so nice we went out partying and and then ended up making friends with like a whole bunch of police officers (laughs) we drunk we drunkenly took a bunch of pictures of these cops oh my gosh it was fun yeah it was a great time did you have a, a really good time as well I mean, I didn't, I wasn't there. Oh, you didn't stop by? Oh, okay. I, I knew that you were, I, I saw, seen that you were there through, you know, like social media and stuff. I did, I wasn't there, no. I oh, just, okay. I was following it that, because I mean, it was like the first of its, I think it was like the first one, actually. I think it was the first or the second, yeah. Yeah. Second. yeah. And the, the guys that organized that, the Shoot Brothers, they, um, they uh, actually had a, a walk-on role in Time's Up. So I had met them previously <laughs> playing two party bros once again. And, um, yeah, they they were really cool. They were really fun to work with as well. Very cool. It's, yeah, it was, it was cool to say, like, to think that, like, you know, a, a place like Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge having, like, a comic convention type, you know, yeah. something of that nature in Gatlinburg just kind of surprises me. Yeah. Yeah, people showed up. It was fun. That's yeah. That's good. Hopefully they do another one. That'd be def. That'd be cool. I'd, it's not really a place I would go to for a convention because I mean it's like a vacation spot for me. I've been going there since I was an infant, basically. <laughs> that's a lot different than it was when you were an infant. Have you been back recently? Yeah, I um we we try to make it back down there about once a year, roughly. Oh yeah, cool. I, I it's it's still a regular vacation spot. Yeah, it's definitely like. <laughs> Especially Pigeon Forge is definitely built up. Like, there's so much stuff there. It was... It's beautiful, yeah. Yeah, we went out and did some hikes and um, ate a whole bunch of really good food. Yeah, it was great. I saw that you had went to, uh, and I actually had not tried it, that Dirty Dick's place. <laughs> no, uh, Dick's Last Resort. <laughs> that was not my choice. That was organized by uh, one of the um, managers. Oh, I see. You know, we all make friends and just hang out. Um, so we went there, and uh, okay, the hats were funny. The food was terrible. Really? So maybe don't, maybe don't, maybe give that a miss. Yeah, That's the a- drink, the drinks were good, but the food was, was atrocious. But uh, I, because uh, like I was, I think I was down there with one of my buddies one time, and I was looking at their because they have the menus outside of the restaurants and stuff, and I was looking at the menu. I'm like, nothing's really poking out at me at this place. Like I don't think uh-huh. we're gonna. Here. We ended up not eating there, so it's probably a good thing we didn't. Um, oh, my friend, uh, what's his name? Hold on. Um, 
Oh my gosh, Wells. What's his first name? Uh, the actor. Vernon? Vernon! <laughs> Sorry, Ver I was like, why can't I think of his name? Like Vernon that. was there with me. And what he got was, actually looked pretty damn good. He got like, he got like a steak and seafood combo. Oh, I see. And that's, that's what I should have gotten, but I, I got the Caesar salad. Just skip the Caesar salad. <laughs> and it was the only thing that looked good. But anyway, we digress. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> well, you should have went. It was out in Sevierville. There was a place called Monster Mash Burgers. Oh, yeah. And it Didn't is, even know that was there. Cool. It, it's it's relatively new. It's, I mean, of course, you know, Gatlinburg and Sevierville, that's like a, almost a 30-minute drive because that's such oh, a stretch. Well, because it goes like, you know, if you're coming from, like, coming south, it's like Sevierville, Pigeon Forge, then Gatlinburg. And it's like just like a big long stretch. Of course, you go from Pigeon Forge to Gallenberg. Obviously, you go through the Smoky Mountains and stuff. But yeah, Sevierville is like pre Pigeon Forge, basically. And it's like literally right at the beginning of Sevierville. And it's like off to the corner. Actually, it's where an outback used to be. Okay. And it's uh, okay. It's like a. It's kind of like a gourmet like burger place. Like you know, they're kind of like monster theme. Like they have like. There's this one that's like a Frankenstein burger, and if like mm -hmm. you friend can finish it in under so many times, it's like free or something. <laughs> and it's like, I'm like, oh, there's no way I could do that. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that to myself. Nope. Is it sort of like Grindhouse a little bit? I'm so hungry. I think that's why we're talking about food so much. I'm just like, <laughs> I'm so hungry. I, I actually just ate an hour ago, but you know, it wasn't a lot. So. It's just, it definitely, it's really cool because like you can actually just like build your own and they have like this, they give you a sheet to make your own burger basically. It's like, so like what kind of bun you want, what wow. eats and everything. You can add a donut to this thing. Uh -huh. It's, uh -huh. like, it's, it's, the, this place is somewhere you're like, if you're looking to like, you're not looking to eat light here. <laughs> no. Yeah, that sounds amazing. I'm going to I'm going to go to Grindhouse after this after this live stream, I think. What is it kind of like a build your own? Yeah. I can spend like I can spend like 23 bucks on one burger. I just keep putting add-ons and like jalapenos and then, you know, just like and then next thing you know you got a burger this this yeah. high. Yeah. There's a really interesting place. I live in Indiana up in Indianapolis. It's called Kuma's Corner and it's a it's a burger place. And all their burgers are heavy metal band themed. So they have like a Metallica <laughs> burger, a Slayer burger, Pantera, and so on. And oh, these are so good. Like they're all on pretzel buns and stuff. And, oh, shit. Yeah. I get your Herzog burger. I think there was the it was the first time I ever tried an egg on a burger. It's good. And it's really good. Very good. Uh, yep. I can't go there too often because it's one, it's pricey, and two, oh, it's just. Not not good for you. <laughs> yeah, you'll die young that way. It's okay. I like vegan burgers though. I really do, honestly. I'm, are are you vegan or? No, but I I I, I like oh, them. Vegan, okay. I just I didn't want to like assume something. <laughs> just mm -hmm. like, um, I like myself. Like I like turkey burgers and stuff like that. If I'm trying to look healthy and stuff like that, which you know, I I, I should because. <laughs> I'm not healthy at all right now. <laughs> Quarantine has not been. Do not, not be hard on yourself, brother. Like everybody has been. It, has it's been there. It's like, yes. No. <laughs> but um, yeah, like I just, that's what I have for lunch today. Actually, it was a turkey burger. And it's just like sometimes if they're made right, they're actually real, like almost better than, you know, a regular burger. It just depends. Anyway, why are we still talking about burgers? Because <laughs> we're hungry. <laughs> okay. Let's talk about movies. Let's talk about... People are going to be like, these, these guys are boring. Gonna... <laughs> yeah, these guys are talking about food. I thought we were going to talk up. about movie. <laughs> oh, anyway, what are, we, what are we talking about again? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Mo oh, yeah. My Indiegogo. Movies. It's got four more <laughs> days. And we're sitting here talking about burgers. Um, yeah. Yeah. So check out the Indiegogo. And uh, if you can't, like, buy a perk or donate money, give it a share. Or maybe, maybe like, you know... Try donating your time and just, you know, just getting the word out there, sending it to, you know, every horror fan that you know of that's in your family, that this might be their cup of tea, psychological horror um, with an occult element and uh, about a peeping Tom and, you know, support women filmmakers, you know, as well. Um, 
we've got a lot of great actresses in this movie. Um, one of my producers is Felissa Rose, and, and I'm directing. So, you know, women in horror, support women in horror. Absolutely. And, um, yeah, okay. Once this, uh, once this is uh, done, I, I should have done this before we started and uh, put, like, a link below for the Indiegogo. But what I'll do is when I'm finished here, I'll put in, like, the description, like, a link to the Indiegogo. And when I upload it to YouTube, I'll also go ahead and put a link there as well. I don't. The bad thing is I'll put the link, but it doesn't, like, link them. It's just, like, it has the address. But for whatever reason, I can never get it to, like, actually show up as a link to where they can click on it. But... I mean, they can always copy and paste, I guess. <laughs> yeah, and it's it's in my bio. So you yeah. go to Hannah Thierman, it's it, it's the link in the bio as well. And if you just go to Indiegogo and type in the events surrounding a Peeping Tom, or I think even just Peeping Tom, it it, it should come up and um, be easy to see. So hopefully, like, because I noticed um, on location, for instance, just became terror trips. So hopefully that doesn't happen with this film where, like, it just Peeping <clears throat> Tom or something. Well, it, it happens. Um, it happens after distribution buys it, and then they basically do whatever they want with the title um, and with the poster. And sometimes even the ones overseas have a different name to the one that they chose for the United States. And so, you know, um, that's not precious to me. I think it's a really cool title. I hope they keep it. I, I like how quirky and old fashioned it is. And you kind of get a sense of the vibe of the movie simply from that title. You know, it's just like. Definitely grabs you. It's like events surrounding a peeping Tom. It's like, oh, okay. What, it's, 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 it's like, well, <laughs> for instance, like On Location is now Terror Trips. It's like, man, it sucks because On Location was such a good title. Yeah, I like Terror Trips as well. Um, it's cool because, yeah. I mean, that's what the actual thing, like the company or whatever in the film is called, Terror Trips, that does the on location stuff <laughs> exactly yeah it, it definitely got a good cast as well i mean you're in it damien's in it uh it's it's funny because i i just interviewed like a week or two ago cheney morrow and i know Did he was you? he's been in a lot of films with you guys as well like time's up and of course he was with maffei and haunt and wrong turn oh yeah 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 forgot was, that they'd worked together so many he was times fun to talk too <laughs> he is super fun. He's a great dude. He just yeah. Got yeah, he's a lovely family man. He's got just he's like got a beautiful family and a beautiful thing. wife. Yeah. Our, uh, um, our actually kind of at the mercy of one of his kids because it, they were sleeping. So he had a mom. <laughs> like, just so you know, if I have to go, I have to go. I'm like, I fully understand. <laughs> yeah, she was pregnant. Um, when we were shooting on location and had the baby like right after we wrapped him on time's up. So it was uh yeah, new, new baby, super new baby. Uh, like both of those guys have, you know, families. I mean, Damien and Cheney, they both are, you know, family men. Yep. Big families. Big families. Uh, I don't have, I don't have any kids. Um, not opposed to the idea, but just not one of those people who like really wanted to have kids. <laughs> you just got stuff you want to do before you have children. <laughs> I got stuff I want to do. I still, I'm still young. It's like, well, I, we have we have two kids, and we had just had our uh, little boy back in March, and he's, I can't believe how fast he's growing already. He's ridiculous. Like he's like he just turned, was it five months? He'll be six months next on the second but he's congratulations like, thank you he is he's a big boy <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird like just to think like three years ago we had our first like she's my daughter she'll be three and having a fit apparently <laughs> <laughs> no she she's she's a little go-getter that's for sure <laughs> that's cool Fun. Yeah, I love kids. I love kids. I, I've worked with them a lot. Um, I don't play a mother a whole lot, but I have. It was funny because speaking of Chaney, last time I spoke to Chaney, he was just like, hey, you know, I just saw you in this. I don't know why I'm giving him a redneck accent. He doesn't really have one. And um, I just saw you in this movie and they changed the title. So I didn't know what he was talking about. And he's like, and I just couldn't believe it. You played a mother. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, thanks, bro. It's, it's that. Uh, it's 
<laughs> is that unbelievable? <laughs> That's funny that you can't exit because it kind of has a little bit of like, not really. A I mean, accent, a little bit. But a little bit of a, a twang to the boys. I like it though. <laughs> he played my husband in, in on location terror trips and it okay. was fun. It was fun. We had, we had a slightly toxic relationship, but we made it work. Oh, in cool. the in this in the script in real life he's amazing. You had a <laughs> but... life, I had a good oh, no. <laughs> So you have your relationship in the film. You have a toxic relationship, not an actual real life. <laughs> yeah, we got along great. We got along great in real life. Well, I got along great with all those guys. Yeah, they're wonderful. Oh, I, 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 you kind of would have to. I mean, to work with them multiple times, but I guess not necessarily. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll see if I work with them again. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just Is that a threat? <laughs> Tell it <again. laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Tarzan was talking about that's a that was actually I was going to try to watch that the other day. It was Saint Agatha, the film, uh, another film you were in. It was actually, relatively new, actually. I think it was. Yeah, it's not that old. I think four or five years, maybe. Yeah. I know it was very like real was it like kind of unbased it It was non exploitation, what'd you say? Was it kind of, like cuz it was kind of in the you know the like non based kind of I don't I don't really know the like I don't really know the synopsis of the story. I just saw the trailer for it. Yeah, I don't know what you said because you kind of cut out. But yeah, it was, it's an exploitation um, directed by Darren Bousman, and um, I see somebody wrote that in, in the comments. And I played a postulate, oh, okay. and um, it was good. And I actually have worked with those people on multiple movies as well. I uh, Sarah Smitty Michaels was one of the original writers, um, and she produced it, and she produced uh, my directorial debut with Dead by Midnight. Why to kill? Yeah, and right. the I I made really good friends with this, with the boom operator, and um, it's funny because we were just totally goof, goofing off the whole movie. I think we had the best time out of everybody. Um, and uh, <laughs> and he actually became my director of photography on Dead by Midnight too. Oh wow! And um, yeah, he switched over to camera department. He used to be sound dude. And um, who else? Oh yeah, one of the one of the nuns. I made my lead, and the priest. I made my other lead. So yeah, and and they bring me on onto all of their projects. It's, I mean, like all of them. It's just it's wonderful. It's wonderful to work with these people. Definitely and yeah. um, huh? So, sounds like it's definitely good to have friends within you know the film industry that are in you know just films in general, like. Yeah, I lucked out, man. I mean, yeah, I took I took the good ones with me. And um and yeah, I mean even when they're doing non-union um stuff, they'll be like, "Hey, you want to you want to come be in the crew?" And I'm just like, "Yeah, why not? I get to hang out with you guys and get paid. Sure, let's do it." <laughs> well, who can I mean <clears throat> I don't even know what I was going to say there. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, just fun being on set, just generally. Even if even if you're not, like, part of the, the artistic side of things, sometimes it's just fun to help out. Just being there is yeah. just an experience in itself, I'm sure. I've never – I, myself, have never, you know, been able to, you know, be on a set or something like that yet. But it would be something I'd like to do someday. I mean – Well, buy a perk. I, <laughs> <laughs> I think – they're. Where are we pointing? <laughs> I don't know. Like, perk. I don't know. It was a, a, maybe, an maybe. exclamation point, I think. <laughs> that, that, that makes sense. <laughs> I, I'm, it's I'm, like, I'm, Eureka, you know. You're, I got it. You're, do you remember that? Okay. Um, no, but I, I, th I think I, because I'm really interested in the film. I'm really interested in the, you know, the concept and everything. So I've, 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 I've been thinking i'll probably end up buying a blu-ray for it just because definitely yeah yeah I mean, signed blu-ray i mean that's that's cool you're gonna be curious and want to watch it anyway so uh, might as well I mean, have it you're, yeah. you're the you're the director damien's in it i mean who could beat that i know right <laughs> felissa's in it she's actually playing one of my favorite characters in the entire script and she is going to kill it she's going to be amazing 
Oh, she's, yeah. I mean, she's great in everything she did. I remember watching her, like, like one of the first things besides Sleepaway Camp, I watched her in uh, Victor Crowley, where she plays, uh, she was like the one guy's a sick or something. And just her death scene was hysterical. I don't know if you've seen Victor Crowley. Actually, my DP is the guy who DP'd Victor Crowley. Oh, that, that's cool then. Yeah, Jan Lasada. He's he's uh, my director of photography. I am so excited to work with this dude. He's got the best ideas. So, um, so speaking of like you know being a part of something. So how did you? Uh, how did this script kind of land in your lap? Like you know being, because I know you come from you know you have an acting background, and this is kind of this is this is really your directorial debut. No, Dead by Midnight 2 was. Dead by Midnight Y2 Kill was, yeah. But this one is my first. So that was a segment of an anthology. Um, okay. And this is my first directing the entire feature on my own. Feature. Um, yeah. So that was technically a feature. So technically it was my debut, even though I didn't do all of the feature. You see? Okay, I see. I see what you mean. <laughs> So technically, yeah, it is a little bit my directorial debut as as the director of the entire feature, but it also technically isn't. Is not. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, because so you didn't you didn't you didn't write this. So, like, how did the script like land in your lap? Oh, that you asked me a question. Uh, Damien yeah. put it there. He was like, "Here you go." Here. Yeah. No. Seriously, I. Yeah, Brian and Felissa <laughs> and Damien all wanted me to do it, and evidently they didn't even consider any other directors, which I thought was really flattering. Um, but I had read this script uh, a little while before that, and he, it originally, I, I was, Rowan's character was originally written with me in mind. Um, but I certainly wasn't going to do, do that to myself, like, you know, a very new director and to give myself one of the lead roles, that would, that would yeah, be a mistake, pretty, I think. Challenging. <laughs> be greedy. You could do it. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. No, I'm not a multitasker. I probably literally could not. Um, but Kate is perfect for the role, Kate Kiddo. And I was hoping we could bring her on on this, but... You know, I don't know if she just wasn't li or wasn't online at the time because I ended up I I followed her and then I messaged her and said, "Hey, no, I'm doing no this. worries." But yeah, you know, it, maybe maybe someday. Yeah, maybe next one. <laughs> yeah, so uh, she's just perfect for the role. Like I I really love her look and uh, you know she, and the chemistry between um the her her acting alongside Damien is just I mean it's, it's fantastic. Yeah. So just a yeah, snippet. definitely you can definitely tell there's you know the two were definitely really well casted like the they have Thank a you. Lot, they have a lot to bring to the table and they have a lot i'm i'm sure the film is going to be you know extremely exciting just to see those two you know yeah. their chemistry and everything yeah they vibe they really do she's tiny and he's really really tall <laughs> he's really tall and that that was my biggest challenge cuz everything else was just like just do your thing just go be amazing and then they were Yep. It'd be kind of like how how was somebody that tall at Peeping Tom? Like you think Peeping Tom, you think somebody really short? <laughs> what? No, you got to be able to reach the window. That is true, I guess. But I mean, like to be able to like the hide and stuff. Yeah, we got all kind of things for that. Actually, okay. it's uh, so I'm interested it... to see this. You have this symbol <laughs> that is plastered on this uh, street. street sign. Yeah, but it's neighborhood watch sign. Yeah. Yeah, and this is supposedly the ones that are watching Damien's character, or probably the ones that are watching Damien's character. Yeah, they're they're the they're the cult, the occult cult, okay. I guess, which is technically a coven. Um, and, but yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Is it so and this is what we're trying to keep like under wraps a little bit so that we won't go too into it. I was just curious of like, you know, do they have a name or is there? Is there... Yeah. Yeah. They have a name. Um, and it, I mean, yeah, well, you'll see. I, I, I hate not being able to tell you guys stuff. It's like, it's early, a secret. 
just trust me. It's awesome, but it's a secret. Like, it's just, like, really frustrating. I just want to be like, yeah, I'm blah, and this is why you're going to like it, and blah, 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 and I just can't do that. <laughs> and it's really frustrating. <laughs> well, this is just a frustrating time. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I waited, then, huh, since, I mean, we can't talk about anything. But ah, we, I mean, we can talk about some stuff, but we've already, we've already talked about it. Um, but I'm getting a lag on my end. So maybe we, maybe we should wrap it up. That's, that'd be okay. I mean, we've, we've covered pretty much, you know, everything with the film. Am I, am I lagging or? You were, you're not now. You're good. Okay. You're good right now. I, it might be, I mean, literally that thunderstorm that just flooded my basement is still raging outside. And I think that it, it could be a might be. signal. Yeah, there's just so many storms. Ah. Yeah, anyway, what? Georgia would be bad. I feel like Georgia's bad for storms. It's a rainforest. <laughs> <sighs> no thanks. No thanks. I live in the Midwest. I never know what it's going to be the next day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I kind of want to move back north. I'm kind of I'm kind of sick of the the weather here. But so many of my friends and family are here and the tax incentives here and all my, you know, people I work with over and over again are frequently here. So yeah. <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> yeah. I'll just take the sweltering sauna. Yeah. Well, at least it's not, Flo I mean, well, it's probably not much better than Florida, really. It's about the same. It's what Florida was 10 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and except and except no bath salts or whatever, huh? <laughs> except the bath. <laughs> we won't go there. We need to make a movie about bath salt zombies, right? Let's do it. Let's do it. It's a really good idea, right? I'll cast you in it. We can we can play rednecks together. It'll be fun. <laughs> I, I literally I literally live in a redneck town, so that's perfect. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I can definitely be southern. They're like, why are you wearing a mask? I'm like. Because there's a pandemic on that. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> pandemic. What? Let me slow it down for you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what, here. what are we going to call it, though? What's, what's the, what, what, what would it be called? Oh. That, it would have to be something s stupid. Bath salt zombies. Bath salt meth head zombies. It would totally be like in redneck. Like, oh, redneck bath salt zombies. It would from... be something you buy at Walmart for five dollars. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, we'd have to give them a super sale for sure. I mean, like even though they don't deserve the money, we you know that's no. that's our that's our uh, what, bread and butter. What would be a really big like thing is if we actually made it a really good movie. It just has a really oh, yeah. terrible. But it ends up being a really awesome movie. Yeah, like that's nobody a good idea. Expects, nobody expects that it's going to be. Oh, this is going to be. This is going to be stupid. And then they watch it like, holy <laughs> crap! I want ten. My more life has changed. My <laughs> life has changed forever. <laughs> I'm calling my mom. Bonds <laughs> <laughs> ten. Here we are. We have a franchise. Franchise. It's awesome. All right. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's brainstorm. Um. <laughs> Cool. Well, it was a pleasure chatting with you, and thanks again for 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 doing this for us and and you know promoting our our Indiegogo and just being you know just yeah supporting the arts. Really appreciate I'll, you, man. I will I will surely um, I'll add a link. Well, I'll put the address below, and you know have people. And of course, for the next couple of days, I'll be sharing it to my page and everything to make sure. Hey, go go follow. Uh, go at least buy a social media shout out do it yeah we'll, we'll shout at you for sure i will i will add it to my uh the youtube channel as well the the video and everything so wonderful anything, anything to help out all right all right well great it was great chatting with you brother thank you uh thank you uh thank you for letting me have you on of course <laughs> you're welcome well, take care and uh good luck with the rest of uh, your endeavors <laughs> Appreciate you. All right. Well, maybe I'll be on again in the future promoting another Indiegogo. Hopefully not another Indiegogo. <laughs> Half the time. <laughs> I'm going to go get a burger right now. You, you do that. Tell I'm, me how. All right. I will. I'll text you. Okay. <laughs> Bye. You too. <laughs> you too. Maybe. <laughs> all right. Well, you heard her, folks. Go uh, 
check out that Indiegogo campaign. There are plenty of perks to choose from. Check out the uh, check out the teaser if you haven't already. It is fantastic. Um, again, I will leave a link down below somewhere. I'll, this once this gets on YouTube, I will put a link or something to it to where. Or again, just go to Indiegogo.com and type in the event surrounding Peeping Tom, and it'll take you right there. Um, that's all I have for, um, I want to thank Hannah again for joining me and I would like to thank my sponsors of Fright Rags for this shirt and all sorts of other goodies I've gotten from them. And be sure to, if you're into to Halloween kills specifically, they have a new collection coming out for pre-order September 1st. A new Halloween Kills collection starting September 1st. So it's for pre-order, so it, it won't be in, like, immediately, but it'll be in. Um, and if you do happen to buy one of those, use my promo code. Be sure to save this for September 1st, because you'll thank me. My promo code, RReport10, that'll give you a 10% discount. So if you're buying a shirt or six shirts considering there are six designs that'll sure save you a little bit of money at least helps you out helps me out but anyway i want to thank everybody for joining in and hope everybody has a great rest of their day enjoy your weekend and i'll see you on the next video